everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lindsay and I am a vinyl records collector. I have two videos that I made before this video. So I did a collection video in 2021 and I also did one in 2022. Those records won't be in this video, but I will link those videos at the end of this video as well as in the description if you guys want to see the rest of my collection. All the records that I'm going to be showing you today are from the year 2022 to 2023. So within a year, maybe a year and a half. Um, it's a lot. So I'm going to try to do that this video pretty fast. Um, I will kind of just show you and some of them I'll talk about, but a lot of them I'm just going to show you really quickly. If you're new to my channel, I am mostly a reseller and most of my content is reseller related. I do a lot of thrift hauls and I do include my vinyl records in my thrift hauls when I do find them. Um, but anyway, I am mostly a collector so I do not resell vinyl records. Okay, so let's just get into it because this video might be really long. Okay, the first one is Dean Martin, which I'm going to be showing you a lot of Dean Martin. So if I come across these, I'm just going to show you really quickly. Another one. It seems like this stack that I have right here has a lot of Dean Martin. And we do have quite a bit of Frank Sinatra as well. Um, these, me and my husband, we share these ones. So a lot of these records, I do buy them at the thrift store and at the swap meet. And I also buy them on Whatnot. And if you're not familiar with Whatnot, it is like a collectible um, like live auction app or site. Um, but yeah, I get a lot of my vinyl records off of there for decent prices. And if you guys want to sign up with my invite link, I think you get $10 credit to shop. So that's in my description. This is not sponsored by Whatnot, but just sharing that information with you guys if you're interested. Okay, next I have uh, the Eagles Desperado. Next is The Weeknd. Love this album. It took me a while to get this one, but last Christmas I finally got it. America's Greatest Hits. War's Greatest Hits. Being Crosby's Christmas, which I actually need to keep this one out because I haven't listened to it yet. Eric Clapton, Juice Newton. This one is a Disneyland album. I actually have two of these, uh, one on display, and then this is the copy that I actually listen to. This is the Wizard of Oz movie soundtrack. Scott McKenzie. As you can see, I did get this from the Goodwill. This is a really beat up copy of Judy Garland's greatest hits. The record plays great, but the outside is kind of beat up, which doesn't bother me. I actually like these old, old vinyls. Next is the Eagles Greatest Hits. This one is actually really beat up, um, so I might be on the lookout for a better copy. Next is the Pretty Woman soundtrack. I got this from Target, and I think it was a Target exclusive, and the vinyl is hot pink. Very pretty. Here's another Frank Sinatra album. I told you guys I had a lot of Dean Martin and Frank Sinatra. Here's another Dean Martin. A lot of these Rat Pack records we found at the swap meet and some from the thrift store. All right, next is an Elvis album. I actually don't have the sleeve or the, I don't have the actual cover, but they, I have the sleeves and it has a lot of good songs on there. And my grandma actually gave me this. The next few that are Liza Minnelli, I got them off of Whatnot and I think I only paid a dollar for them. So there's this one, this one. I think there's one more Liza Minnelli in this stack, but it's like mixed up. So I'll get to that. Next is Rod Stewart. A lot of these have that plastic cover on the front, so I'm trying not to have a glare on the screen for you guys. This one is Foreigner. 
Donna Summer, Eddie Money, and this one is still in the shrink, The Knack. I love 80s vinyl, and I'm actually trying to build more into my collection. I just don't find them as often as my older stuff. This one is Iron Butterfly. It's kind of beat up on the cover, but that's okay. It's really old and that doesn't bother me at all. As long as the vinyl plays, I'm happy with uh, the records. Like if, there, if the cover is like super beat up, then sometimes I'll just keep it as like a filler and then I'll replace it with a new one if I ever find it out in the wild. Next is Casey and the Sunshine Band. I know I got this one from the swap meet. Andy Gibb. Rose Royce. Santana. This one has Black Magic Woman on it. This one is one of my favorites. It's The Doors and it's a very, very um, beat up cover. It has tape all around it, but that doesn't bother me at all. I just love that it's super old. Another Santana album, Wings, Greatest Hits. This is one of my favorites. I love Paul McCartney, ELO, Wham. This one has Last Christmas on it, The Monkees. This one is Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson. It's just one song, it's Say, Say, Say. Uh, but I am a big fan of both of them, so I was very excited to get this. And I did get this one on Whatnot. The Commodores. Kumiho. So this is a, this is a very, very, like, recent album. Um, so if you don't know who she is, she's kind of underground, and she's, like, a burlesque performer. Um, I actually found her on Whatnot, so she actually sells stuff on Whatnot, and she's a singer, and she was selling her vinyl records, so I bought one, and I actually really like this album. Nancy Sinatra. Okay, here's the other Liza Minnelli I was telling you guys about. See how it has this damage right here? But it was only a dollar, so I was okay with purchasing that. Next is the Pointer Sisters. Next is Diana Ross and the Supremes. This is a really old copy too. Next is Dolly Parton. This is the best of album. Next is Flashdance soundtrack. And I believe this is the first Johnny Cash album I'm showing you guys, but there is quite a bit of Johnny Cash as well. More Johnny Cash. Nat King Cole. This is one of my favorites right here. It's Mary Poppins, the soundtrack. I love Mary Poppins. It's one of my favorite Disney movies. So I was very excited to find this. Doobie Brothers. Another Johnny Cash album. Lady and the Tramp. This is the soundtrack. And I'm actually trying to get all of the Disney movies on Vine or all of the Disney movie soundtracks on vinyl. So I was very excited to find this one. I actually got this one off of Whatnot and I think I used a shopping credit. So I only paid shipping on this one. Next is a sealed copy of Blink-182's Greatest Hits. Next is Diana Ross. This is a really good album. So this one is Diana Ross and the Supremes with The Temptations. This is a really, really good album. Next is Chic. Next is Johnny Cash Christmas. I'm, I actually need to listen to this one. So like I have been listening to my Christmas finals lately because I'm filming this during the middle of December. So I'm gonna be keeping this one out to listen to. Some more Dean Martin. Tammy Wynette. I actually got this from the Goodwill and I was so excited because I have been looking for this one for a while. Uh, this album has Stand By Your Man on it. I love old country music. All right, next is Johnny Cash, Ring of Fire. Some more Johnny Cash. More Frank Sinatra. Ray Charles, Greatest Hits. Fleetwood Mac. 
This one I got from a record store. And I think I paid, I paid $20 for this one, but it is Fleetwood Mac, so I'm willing to pay a little bit more. Next is Styx, Three Dog Night, Jefferson Airplane. So this one is really cool. It has a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on the inside. I'll show you guys, it's really cool. I actually bought this album for the artwork. Like I had never listened to it before. I do like Jefferson Airplane, but I just, like I said, I bought it for the artwork. It's just so cool. But after listening to it, I actually did know a few songs. So I was very happy about that. More Johnny Cash, I Walk the Line. Michael Jackson, Off the Wall. So this one is really beat up. So I'm thinking that this will be kind of a filler. So if I ever find this one in better condition, I'll probably replace this one. All right, next is another Christmas album. It's Frank Sinatra's Christmas, which I've been listening to this one recently. It's really, really good. This one was funny. I just bought this on Whatnot because I thought it was funny. It's that Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer song. Next is just music, Christmas music. Somebody threw this in my order for free from a Whatnot purchase. So I was definitely gonna hold on to this because I love Christmas music. Sammy Davis Jr. This is just a Disney Christmas album that I got from Target. Jose Feliciano, he's the one who sings Feliz Navidad. An old Beatles album. This is a Winnie the Pooh album, one of the old Disneyland albums. 101 Dalmatians, this one is also a Disneyland album. This one I got from the swap meet. Eminem, the Slim Shady LP. This one I bought for my husband last year for Christmas. He hasn't opened it yet. Next is ELO, another Doobie Brothers album. Best of the Beach Boys, Expose. This is another 80s album. Another Eminem album. This one is Revival, and my husband actually won this as a giveaway on Whatnot, so this was free to us. Next is Manfred Mann's Earth Band. This is uh, the band that sings Blinded by the Light. Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits. Next is a Selena Gomez album that I got on the clearance rack at Target. I only paid $5 for it. Next is another Disneyland album. This one is the Peter Pan vinyl, but it actually doesn't have the correct vinyl in here. So it's just the album artwork. So I am on the lookout for this vinyl record. Um, so I'm just gonna keep this because the cover is really nice until I can get the correct vinyl. There is a vinyl in here, but it's like Peter Rabbit or something random. Next is another Disneyland album, The Little Engine That Could. I am a huge Disney fan, so you're gonna see a lot of Disney stuff in here. Next is the Dumbo soundtrack. Another Dean Martin album. Next is another Sammy Davis Jr. album. Another Frank Sinatra album. Next is Rod Stewart. And here's another Rod Stewart that I found on the same day. I got these both from the Goodwill. More Dean Martin. These I got on Whatnot. They are like little records in a book. They are Disneyland records. Next is Simon and Garfunkel's Greatest Hits. This is another Disneyland album. It's just chilling sounds of a haunted house. So it's basically just like sound effects, but I thought it was really cool. And I got this on Whatnot during a Halloween themed live auction. This one was from the same Halloween live auction. And then there's one more. This one is like a kid's album, I think. Here's another mini record. This one is actually not a book, but it's small. It is a 33, but it's a smaller record. And I had to pick this up because, you know, I love Disney. Next is Robert Palmer. The cover is really messed up, but the vinyl plays great. 
Next is Cat Stevens. Next is the best of the Guess Who. This is a very old album and there is a lot of wear on the cover, but that's okay. This one is a, not a Disneyland album, but it is a, a tribute to Walt Disney and it's by the Chell Tenum Orchestra and it has When You Wish Upon a Star, Zippity Doodah, Someday My Prince Will Come, and Funi, Funicoli Funicola. I don't think I'm saying that right, but anyway, I just really liked the album cover. Um, I'm probably going to hang this up in one of those vinyl record frames one day and hang it in my living room because I have a lot of Disney stuff in my living room. Next is the Turtles and I got this from a record store. Next is Free and this one was purchased on the same day as the last one I just showed you. Eddie Arnold. This is old country music. It's very, very good. The best song on here is Cattle Call. Next is an 80s album. This is Spandu Ballet and the song that's famous on here is True. Next is Cinderella soundtrack, another Disneyland album. Mickey Mouse Disco, another Disneyland album. The Moody Blues. Snow White, another Disneyland album. Actually, I don't think it says Disneyland on here. No, so this one must be before they were putting the Disneyland mark on it, but it is pretty old and beat up, but it does play really well. Next is the White Stripes Greatest Hits. I got this at Target on the clearance rack. I think I only paid $8 for that. Next is Machine Gun Kelly. I got this one for my husband and this was also on the clearance rack. It was $11.39. Next, I got this one for Christmas last year. It's Dream Car. So if you're not familiar with Dream Car, it's the singer from AFI and um, No Doubt without Gwen Stefani and they made this band and it's really good. It's kind of sounds like 80s music. I highly recommend it. Next is Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. This is a Disneyland album. Next is Kansas, The Pretenders. This one I got from the Goodwill. And I think the next few are from the same day. Phil Collins, see, that's a Goodwill tag right there. These next few I got in the same store. Sugar Hill Gang, The Big Bopper, Men at Work, in great condition, still in the shrink. And this one I actually got on Whatnot. This is another Fleetwood Mac album. All right, you guys, we're down to my last stack. Next is Tony Bennett. That's an old Tony Bennett album. More Nat King Cole. Julie Andrews in Star. I actually never seen that movie, but I really love Julie Andrews. The Specials. I got this from a church rummage sale. And I also got this one the same day. Next is another Ray Charles album. Another Bing Crosby album. I haven't listened to this one yet. More Elvis. Post Malone, Nat King Cole Christmas. I'm gonna have to keep this one out as well. White Lion, so this one is still in the shrink and it has the hype stickers right here. Um, I actually listened to this album and I didn't know anything on here. I do know the band because my parents used to listen to this band when I was little. But unfortunately, I didn't enjoy this album, so I'm probably gonna trade this in for something else that I actually know. Next is a Chipmunk album. So 80s and retro. Next is The Righteous Brothers. This one is very beat up, as you can see, but it plays very well. Saves the Day. So this is something that I bought my husband last year for Christmas. And I actually like this album too, so I included it in this video. More Post Malone. So I'm super excited about this album. 
Um, I was waiting for it to come out and I actually went to go see him in August. Uh, so yeah, this one was my most exciting vinyl record purchase this year. More sticks. Some more Eagles. I believe I have all the Eagles albums now on vinyl. I could be wrong, but I think I have them all now. Next is New Edition. Next is Harry Nelson, Greatest Hits. I haven't listened to this one yet. Led Zeppelin. So this one I recently got on Whatnot and I was so excited because I got this for a good deal. I don't think people wanted to buy it because it had some writing on the front, but that doesn't bother me. Um, I just find Led Zeppelin records to be so expensive. So I was very excited to get this. Next is Aerosmith. This one, I don't know what it is. It looks like it's probably a play, but somebody put this in my order like ex for extra for free. So I haven't listened to it yet, but uh, I will eventually. Next is a Christmas album compilation. This one was really good. I recently did listen to this one. Actually, I'm gonna keep it out to listen to it again. Another Christmas album, The Jackson's Five. This one is in great condition. Johnny Mathis Christmas. Mariah Carey's Christmas. This one is my only Mariah Carey vinyl that I have. I do have all her CDs, but eventually I'm going to be buying the vinyls as well. Frosty the Snowman. And these two are the last ones that I purchased recently. This is the English Beat, and it's like a compilation of these three albums right here. And I think I only paid like a dollar or maybe 50 cents for it. And the last one is Beethoven's Greatest Hits. So this one was brand new and sealed. I think I paid the same amount for the other one I just showed you. I did open it and I listened to it and I really enjoyed it. So yeah, that is everything. That's all my records that I accumulated within a year. Uh, like I said, if you guys wanna see my other videos, I have two more with my whole collection. Um, let me know if you saw any of your favorite albums in here. If you guys have any videos that you filmed of your vinyl record collection, let me know in the comments and I'll check out your video as well. If you enjoyed this content, please give me a thumbs up on your way out. And if you guys want to subscribe to my channel, definitely do so. Um, if you're interested in thrifting and reseller content, if not, it's okay. Thanks for watching. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.